Earth's on track to launch around the clock search for extraterrestrial space aliens. More than 20 radio antennas will be allowed to uh, have a cosmic look for signs of intelligent life in the universe around the clock. The possibility of humans not being the only intelligent life form in the universe has long bothered the minds of many scientists. There are even those, uh, for example, one of them being the former Defense Minister of Canada, Paul Hellyer, who claims that the extraterrestrials are here among us and they look just like us. We could be walking on the sidewalk and passing them on the street and we wouldn't even know they were extraterrestrial aliens. I guess they would use camouflage very well. Now, the possibility of humans not being the only intelligent life in the universe bothered many. The first step towards proving the possibility is increasing efforts to find signs of alien life. After the SETI Institute and the National Radio Astronomy Observation Observatory, NRAO, teamed up in an initiative that was extensively named the Commensal Open Source Multimode Interferometer Cluster Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. For short, it's called Cosmic SETI. That sounds better, doesn't it? Cosmic SETI, they pushed for sweeps for aliens on a 24-7 basis. This will become possible due to the installation of fiber optic amplifiers and splitters on all Car Carl G. Jansky very large array VLA antenna, allowing Cosmic to get access to the data streams from the entire LVA network. More than 20 radio antennas will allow the cosmic SETI to look for signs of intelligent life in the universe around the clock, embarking on a mission to examine around 40 million stars in our Milky Way galaxy in two years, the SETI Institute said in a new release. We will be able to monitor millions of stars with a sensitivity high enough to detect an Arecibo-like transmitter out to a distance of 25 parseconds, that is 81 light years, covering an observing frequency range from 230 megahertz to 50 megahertz, gigahertz, which includes many parts of the spectrum that have not yet been explored, explored for ETI signals, said SETI Institute Cosmic Project scientist Cherry Ing. The system will allow and able to operate full power from early of next year, 2023, with the project currently on track to be the most ambitious SETI observation program undertaken in the Northern Hemisphere. What about the Southern Hemisphere? So this is on better reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.